Morning all, just a quick video now to show how I'm going to put these BSA um, branded spinners on that Moogie um, Noel has kindly printed out for me with the BSA logo on. You can see that they scrub up quite well. Um, quite happy with how they've turned out. You'd probably mistake them for metal if you had a good distance away from them and were going fast enough. But uh, yeah, very pleased with them. Um, so, in the print, and there are two bits to the print, you've got um, the spinner and a base plate. Now the base plate is designed to go on the um, pit bike front wheels, 17 inch front wheels. So you have a little outer lip there that stands out just tall of a mill and an inner lip. You can see I've actually taken this one down a bit. I've um, talked to uh, Noel and he's going to make that slightly smaller on uh, on the next print. Um, the reason it was taller is because the one I measured was deeper so they're, they're all different these pit bike wheels by a margin so hopefully we've got that one right now. You can see in there he's also put four little slots. Just uh, try and get focus there we go four little slots like that yeah and those slots are for cable ties so your cable ties are going to go through it like that one two three four and this space to thread them through your hubs if you drill a small hole at 12 o'clock three o'clock nine o'clock and six o'clock so what I'll do now is I'll just get them threaded through and then we'll put little cable ties, so you're going to need eight cable ties per wheel if you're going to put all four on, um, through the other side and then trim them off on the back with a pair of side cuts. So, a little bit of threading through later, you can see that I've got all four of them through and it's holding the thing even without, even without fastening the extra clips to them quite well as it stands. It's sitting perfectly on the wheel, flush with the hub, looks the part. I'm going to pause it again and I'm going to put the other bits of the other four cable ties on and trim the ends off. And there we have it. You can see them. Small little bits of cable ties sticking out. But no fixings on the surface which is what I like about them. Okay, and there might be better ways of fixing them on. I will mention that I did put a brand new nylock nut on um, before fixing them and I do that every time just as belt and braces to make sure that nothing comes undone underneath and I did torque it up a little, it's, um, it doesn't need a lot of torque on it because it's just holding things in place. Anyway, let's turn the thing the right way up. and. Uh, I'll get the other one on. Okay. So, that's the finished spinner. Got left and right side on the right ones. Oops. There we go. I think it finishes out lovely.